Hi and welcome to another episode. Now in this episode I'm going to show you with the help of some scripts that I've made that of getting everything, and I do mean everything, to do with WHD load across to your Amiga's hard drive. Now your Amiga hard drive needs to be connected up to the PC. How you do that, that's your own wish, but it needs to be able to be seen within WinUAE. If you don't know how to do certain parts of that, you might get an idea from my last episode where I installed a 240GB MSAT hard drive. 240 gigabytes is way overkill, but this particular thing, you're not gonna get away with a 16 gigabyte CF card. It's just not gonna be enough space for everything because I'm literally going to copy across all of the LHA files that you get from WHD load, and then I'm also gonna unpack everything and it's all going to sit and stay on the Amiga's hard drive. So get yourself something sizable. The scripts that I'm going to be using are two scripts of my own, and someone else's by the name of JPV. I'll put a link to that particular script in, down below as well. Now, these three scripts and some icons and things sorts everything out onto your hard drive as long as you follow through on what I'm showing you here today. There is actually a readme file in there as well that should also help explain what needs to be done. So you've downloaded everything to do with WHD load, the games and demos and the JST files, and you've put them all in this particular folder. So you have all of that there, what you need to do is, with my LHA file, is stick that there as well. And then in WinUAE, you need to share that folder from the root of that folder to your virtual Amiga. On the virtual Amiga, you should also have its own hard drive connected up, and that should have a workbench partition and a partition called HDD. We have the WHD load ready and waiting there. I realized in my last episode, I called it PC stuff. If you still have that configuration, just rename it using the properties to WHD load and then boot up. The virtual Amiga is now booting. As last time, just ignore that error. Okay, so we go to WHD load hard drive which is actually virtually linked to your PC's hard drive where you're keeping all the files. We right click, go to window, show all files. Then we need to copy that LHA file to the HTD. Then we go to workbench, system, and then open up a shell. And then we type in HDD colon. That takes us to the HDD partition. And then we type LHA just to make sure that we have got LHA installed correctly. Then we do a DIR to see the file name for the HDD file we want to unpack. So we type LHA space X space WHD load underscore unpacker dot LHA. So there we go, everything's unpacked successfully. So there we go, we've got everything ready. And then we change into that particular folder. So CD space WHD load underscore unpacker. And then we just type unpack. And as you can see, the LHA files start getting copied across. Then it starts to unpack everything. And then it sorts out the folders and icons that I've made sure that we can actually see because otherwise it creates folders that you can't see them. So you have to do the show all thing this way you don't have to bother doing that. Then we can go to window and then we can clean up and also we can go to window and show all files and then we can delete the folder and the LHA files. You might wanna clean things up again. Sometimes it doesn't always go where you want them to go and you have to drag the icons yourself. Then we can go into games. As you've noticed, all the three major folders have been renamed. And we can start cleaning up and also snapshotting to make sure that the next time we go in there, everything is already looking the way we left it. We have to do this for every folder. So that's 26 folders times three. And then we might wanna do that within each game folder. 
that's up to you. As you can see here though that the LHA files are still being shown. Either you can do all the cleaning up all in one big go while you're on this virtual Amiga or you can just copy everything across. If you want you can clean everything up right now on the virtual Amiga but you might find it easier just to wait until you've got everything across on the Amiga itself. So let's just close down WinUAE so the drive isn't being activated anymore. Stick it in the Amiga. Go to the HDD partition. Go into games and as you can see everything is still snapshotted from last time. But now, as I said, we don't need to see all the LHA files, so we can just show icons only. And we can clean up and snapshot again. I recommend you do it this way because then you only have to do it the once but at the same time, you're not sat there messing around doing it all in one long go. But it's all down to personal choice. So that's it then. My Amiga 1200 has eight megabytes of fast memory. You might only get away with four, who knows? You'll have to tell me if you do, please let me know in the comments below. Obviously an accelerator card and a daft amount of memory would really help this load up faster and everything like that. If you do decide to change the, the script files or pass them on and everything like that, it'd be really nice if you at least give me a shout out and not just for me myself, but for my channel and encourage people to come subscribe. As always, happy gaming.